Hey what's up guys, it's Risky here, welcome back to another Call of the Wild video on my channel here today. In today's video, I decided to make another things we need in Call of the Wild type video. About a year ago, I made one of these and the video actually did really well and a lot of you guys actually commented a lot of really interesting things that you would like to see in Call of the Wild. If you want to go check that video out, then make sure you go do so. But it was really cool seeing what the community wants added into the game. There's a lot of really awesome suggestions that would just be so cool to have in Call of the Wild and would make the game like a million times better. Wrote down that I made that I think we should uh, see sometime, hopefully in the future. I have a list here of things that I wrote down of things that I would love to see added to Call of the Wild in the future. And I'm sure at some point or another they will be added. But at the rate we're going right now, it doesn't seem like any of these things are going to be added anytime soon. And what I mean by that is, if you did not see the 100 Call of the Wilds tweet as of recently, they are kind of held up apparently is what they're saying. I don't know if it's just an excuse for something or if it's a legitimate reasoning. But I'll put it up on the screen really quick and then we'll move on to the actual things we need. But they did say, Dear Hunters, we are aware of the current Axis Deer spawning issues and are working on fixing the spawn rates. Unfortunately, the fix is going to take longer than we initially thought. As it stands now, it likely won't be fixed for several weeks possibly into as late as December. And I'm recording this October 27th, so, you know, December is still a pretty good ways away. It turns out that this issue is one of the systems involving scoring for all animals, and currently the risk of messing it up for the entire game is simply too high. I don't understand how the hell they let these things happen. It's very weird to me, very confusing. I don't know how they just don't test things before they actually release them into an update. It's, it's kind of stupid. You guys can probably agree with me on that one. But anyways, yeah, that's what I mean by we probably won't re be receiving much DLC anytime soon until they get this figured out. But anyways, on to the things that I think we need in Call of the Wild. One thing that I would love to see added to Call of the Wild is more vehicles. We're stuck right now with just the ATVs, and you know, sometimes it gets boring just riding around on the same freaking four-wheelers all the time. So hopefully in the future we can get some trucks, you know, maybe some like some Land Cruiser type vehicles, some Jeeps, and even some kind of pickup trucks. That'd be really cool, and maybe they could allow some kind of inventory on these vehicles where you can, you know, store a couple different tents or a couple guns, maybe some hunting blinds, some stands, things like that would be really cool. Also, side-by-sides, just another option from the four-wheeler. You know, side-by-sides are really cool. They're very popular. A lot of people use them when they're out on hunting trips. And just for the snowy maps, you know, like when Yukon snows, Medved, things like that, a snowmobile would be really cool. I would also love to see better character customization because right now we're very limited to our character customization. You can literally just choose between male and female, which, you know, that makes sense because there is only two genders, but we're very limited with the actual customization itself. There's only a few different like head styles, I guess, and faces that you can choose between. There's like a few different outfits and that's it. I think we should move on to a better character customization, kind of like the Hunter Classic, how you can literally choose what kind of hat you're wearing, shorts, gloves, pants, shoes, glasses, things like that. And you can just make your own combination. You don't have to be stuck to a specific outfit. And actually make it where if you're wearing a proper camouflage for an area, similar, similar to the Hunter Classic, it'll actually, you know, allow you to be hidden a little bit more and make you quieter. More challenges to unlock in-game items, some money, weapons, things like that would be really, really awesome to see in this game. It would give you something else to do other than just running around doing the stupid little missions and hunting for diamonds all the time. You could actually have some kind of cool challenges, you know, maybe go kill so-and-so amount of animals or this kind of animal and you get rewarded like a cool like weapon skin or, you know, maybe $25,000. It would just give you something else to do. And me and my buddy TSG have actually talked about it a couple of times now. Something like the Battle Pass, how they have that in Call of Duty, how they had it in Fortnite, all that stuff where, you know, you buy it for $10 a month or however much you want to spend on it, you know. You pay $10 a month and you get this whole season of things. And once that season runs out, you know, you get more things added on. You have to repurchase it. But in between the season, as you rank up or get XP and move on to the next tier of the Battle Pass or what I would think it would be called like the Hunter Pass or something like that. Just a really cool way for them to add more content. You know, maybe once you hit a certain tier, you unlock a certain gun. The next tier you might make, you might get a little bit XP. The next tier you might get some money, things like that. All the way to like, I don't know, 50 tiers, 100 tiers, however many they would like to make it. 
This would benefit the community because we'd be getting a lot of content and it would give us something to do in the game. And it would benefit the development team because it'd be a great way for them to make money instead of just putting out like one or two DLCs here and there, making their money and then the community's bored already. They could have this whole freaking hunter pass with plenty of content in it. They can make plenty of money and everybody would be happy. And one more thing that I would love to see, and I know so many people would love to see as well, is a brand new updated storage slash inventory UI. It's just so bad in my opinion, the way you have these like tabs for weapons, ammo, sites, all that stuff, and you have to scroll through each one and then drag things over. I mean, I don't mind the dragging, it's just those stupid tabs and you have everything laid out there and you have to scroll way the hell down and find things if you don't have a lot of stuff then it's not that big of a problem but when you literally have everything in the game like me and many other people do it becomes really annoying when you have to scroll all the way down you know say you put a weapon in your inventory right you get to close that tab click on the ammo tab scroll all the way down to the bottom or wherever the hell the ammo is in that little tab and then swipe it in close that one go to the sites whatever you know it's just such a freaking process what i would like to see is you know a weapon section you can click on weapons and then you might be able to click on rifles shotguns pistols bows things like that those all have their own separate tab you know similar think of it like a, a call of duty create a class screen those are normally very well laid out simple easy and they're most of the time they're just really really simply laid out and that's what i would like to see here because this is just very kind of it's just kind of annoying in my opinion so yeah a new updated inventory ui system would be fantastic and yeah, that's basically all I have here wrote down. Just wanted to knock out a few things. And those are like the main important things that I would love to see personally. There's not too much more in this game that I could ask for. I mean, yeah, there's a lot more like trail cams, things like that. But I don't really see those actually having a big purpose in this game. A lot of the things that I listed today are things that would really just make the gameplay better. Give you a lot more things to do in the game. And just allow for a lot more customization, you know? Which is big in a game, in my opinion. If the more customization, the better. So in the comment section down below, let me know some things that you would like to see in Call of the Wild. I'm very interested to hear a lot of y'all's thoughts. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.